Students will discuss about transverse wave and its characteristics. So first, let us uh, uh, define what is transverse wave. As uh, we have discussed earlier, the transverse wave, the particles will vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. That means if a wave propagates like this, the particle will vibrate like this. So this is known as uh, transverse wave. And uh, we will uh, write the characteristics of transverse wave. So a few points uh, we have to uh, note. First thing is that uh, definition of transverse wave. When the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave, the wave is called transverse wave. When the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation, it is called transverse wave. That means if a uh, wave move like this, the wave direction is this, this is the velocity of wave. Particles uh, if vibrate like this, up and down, then they make an angle of 90 degrees. Therefore, we say that when the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave, it is called transverse wave. Now, we will uh, write the characteristics of a transverse wave. We may also discuss about the formation of transverse wave or uh, formation of, say, uh, transverse wave on a string. So, in a string, the wave is transverse in nature. But uh, for the time being, we will discuss the derive the characteristics or write down the characteristics of transverse wave. <coughs> so, characteristics of transverse wave. When first point is the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to wave propagation, particle of the medium, that is velocity of the particle is perpendicular to velocity of wave. That happens in case of a string wave or wave on a string. The second part is that when a transverse wave passes through the medium, the medium is divided into crest and drops alternately. So when first crest is formed, then trough is formed, then again crest is formed. So that means in between two crests, then must have one trough and vice versa. So you cannot have uh, two crests and uh, there is no trough in between. So that is the point that when the When transverse wave passes through a medium, the medium is divided into alternate crest and trough. So, medium is divided into alternate crest and trough like this. Uh, crest and trough, then crest and trough, then crest and trough like this. This is the crest, this is the trough, this is the crest, this is the trough and so on. Okay, like this. So, next point is. The distance between two successive rays or trough is known as the wavelength of the wave. It is called as the wavelength of the wave. 
So distance between two successive clusters. So this is the case. So this is the crest here, crest here, crest here. So the or trough here, trough here. The this distance is wavelength. Distance between two consecutive troughs. Similarly, the distance between two consecutive crest is also known as wavelength. So this distance is known as wavelength. We can also define the wavelength uh, when two any two successive particles which are in same state of vibration or having same phase are also called as wavelength. That we'll discuss some other day. Fourth point is in case of a first wave, the velocity of the transverse wave is given by under root t by mu. This is the formula for velocity of transverse wave. V is the velocity of the wave. It is not the velocity of the particle. First point. This is the velocity of the wave. That means in a string, transverse wave is created. Now a pulse is created. That pulse will travel. The pulse which is created at this end, you will see after some time it is here, after some time it is there. So this disturbance is traveling. Its speed is different from the vibration of the particles or the speed at which the uh, particle will vibrate. So the speed at which the particle vibrates that is called the particle velocity and the speed at which this disturbance is traveling okay that is known as wave velocity. So basically wave velocity is the velocity of energy okay this is the velocity of energy that is traveling from one point to another point how fast the energy is transferred uh, that is the velocity of the wave or the velocity of the disturbance. So this is the velocity of the wave. So I write VW or velocity of transverse wave. This T stands for tension and mu stands for linear density of the string. So T stands for tension in the string. And mu stands for linear density of the string. Linear density means mass per unit length. T stands for tension. 